Hello and welcome to your first year at the School of Business. My name is Marianne Meyer and I'm an alumni with both my bachelor's and master's degrees from here. After my undergraduate degree, I worked in marketing for a not-for-profit, I worked in retail operations, and for the past eight years I've been working in human resources. Currently I work at the U of A in our Central Human Resources Unit and I've had an opportunity to guide an institution-wide initiative as well as strategically think through organizational design. I've had a lot of profs over the year, and I know you're in great hands with Dr. Richard Field. So Dr. Field reached out to several of his previous students to provide you with some tips and guidance and advice. And so I thought I would share with you some of my experiences in failure and what I did wrong, and how I used that to motivate me in a different time. So 10 years ago, not that long, but uh, 10 years ago, I participated in my first case competition. I was in my last year of my undergraduate degree and had no prior experience. Two coaches, Dr. Ian Gelatly and Ross Bradford, took a chance on me. So the wonderful thing about coaches is they provide you with feedback at every practice. Uh, in addition to the positive stuff, my feedback tended to include, Marianne, you have to speak up, and Marianne, you have to answer the questions. So fast forward to the case comp. My team was fantastic. And you know that group project where everyone gets along and everyone pulls their weight? The unicorn group? Yes, that was actually my team. It was awesome. And we made it through to the finals. This was it. You know that feeling that comes along with achieving something like that? Uh, a little mix of nerves, some excitement, and feeling good, and some weird, unidentifiable feeling in there. Anyways, we were provided with our case. We came up with our solution, we presented to the judges, and then in question period, I failed. I failed. I didn't put my foot forward. I knew the answers, I just could not do it. And there was a real lesson for me in confidence, self-awareness, and failure. Six years after my undergrad, I went back to school, and this time I was not going to wait until my last year to get involved, because I had some really unfinished business. I participated in the academic portion of the MBA games, which would be similar to your JDC West, as well as the East Meets West Leadership Case Competition, where Dr. Field was my coach. So during those three cases and the practices leading up to them, I remembered my past failure and I told myself I had to answer at least once, just once, every time judges asked questions. I'd put my foot forward, as uncomfortable as it was, and I'm happy to report to you, I did succeed in my goal of answering at least one question. So you'll have different reasons for taking your degrees and you might be wondering if doing a case competition is worth it and how I use it in my day to day. Well, let me tell you, in my work now in human resources at the U of A, I'm blessed because I've had an opportunity to work in job evaluation and organizational development. I meet with senior leaders, administrators, and really intelligent academics. So this is like your judges. I need to share with those leaders that I have done my due diligence thought about the pros and cons and have performed analysis like basic SWOT, so similar to your analysis. I have to apply critical thinking and provide strong rationale as to why I'm recommending and presenting a specific solution. This is like your options, recommendations, and implementation stages. I have to be prepared for questions I don't even know are coming my way and be able to respond to them. And if I had not done case competitions, I would feel far less comfortable with this. I have to build relationships with my colleagues and be open to hearing others' opinions and experiences because I know eventually we will have to work through a very challenging situation together and that it's our combined knowledge uh, that will help the client get their best solution. So this is like your team. You'll all have different ideas and you'll have to hear about those ideas when you prepare. So my advice to you when it comes to case comps, so first and foremost, teamwork makes the dream work. You as a team are in this together. Your individual and collective strengths will help your team come up with your best solution. Second, for those of you who have failed, it's okay to fail. Failure is part of growth and you can use it as a fuel to drive you forward. Third, get uncomfortable. There's an adage that says, all the magic happens outside of your comfort zone. If your team is coming up with some really wild yet somewhat realistic idea that you're not so sure about, just try it. If you think that no one wants to hear your opinion or you're uncomfortable answering on the spot because you're asking yourself, what do I know? Your answer is, you know it. You do. Fourth, breathe. You'll have a few hours of immense pressure as you frantically try to remember different analysis models or different HR terminology while coming up with a solution. 
It will go by so, so quick. So make sure you breathe every once in a while. And finally, regardless of how you do, you should be so proud that you are participating in case competitions or putting yourself outside in of your comfort zone. I get it. It's not easy doing what you're doing and you're doing it will help you prepare and gain skills for what we like to call the real world. So I truly wish you all the best in your experience at the University of Alberta School of Business and I hope you have a memorable experience.